Welcome to a special installment of Pure and Figure Photos. But today, instead of making a picture, we actually make a figure. Oh, cool. What is it? This, my friend, is a plastic model kit. Okay. You know, like those famous Gunpla kits? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need any glue. It's completely clickable. And it's a ton of fun to make. Okay, and how long will it take? Well, about a couple of hours. Couple of hours? Yep. You know what? There has to be a fast forward button on this. Uh, oh, there it is. Well, let's get started. Okay, we have sorted out our materials and we have the instructions next to us. Now we take the grid and we use the nipper to separate the piece from the grid, like this. And then we use the cutter to cut off these tiny leftover plastic pieces from the grid. So the oval figure will be a lot nicer and more refined. You might notice in your model kit, mostly they come with little extra grids that are made out of a softer plastic. Those parts are mostly used for ball joints or connections. I have a part here and as you can see I put it here in the little assembled boot and then I can put the toes on it. And it's really nice and smooth and holds it in place. Here's the little heel. I put it there as well, and we have a boot. Okay, as you can see, we finished the first few pieces and yeah, let's assemble them and see what we get. And as you can see, the legs are done. As you can see, we are at part 8 now and there's a little black underskirt. And that skirt is actually located in the manual. You have to cut it out. And I kind of suck at that. So, Eddie will do it. Okay, the build is advancing nicely. As you can see, we have our little legs here, together with the underskirt. And now we have her torso and her arms. So let's assemble it. Hmm, something is missing.
Okay, all the parts are done and it's time to assemble her. So, uh, it's done. Hey, wake up, it's done. Dude, a couple of hours. It's one o'clock in the morning. It was a person the best. Mm. But, yeah, I can definitely say it's a nice model. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. And even though she's straight out of the box, the colors are really nice. Man, you could use some color here and there, but that's to be expected. Yeah, not bad for a first try. Yeah, and size-wise, here is a 1 to 144 Avalanche Axia, high grade for comparison. Yeah, it's about the same size. Yeah, but she's 1 to 1 scale. <laughs> <laughs> and for you viewers who are curious uh, who she is and what we have in mind with her, check in to a pure win figure photo with our little combat son. Until then, see you next time. See ya.